हेलो एंड वेलकम टू नेहा कुक हाउस विद चॉकलेट बनाना बाइट्स चॉकलेट बनाना बाइट्स आर डिलीशियस ट्रीट आफ्टर एनी मील एंड कैन इजीली सेटिस्फाई एनी आइसक्रीम क्रेविंग्स दे आर सो इजी टू मेक दैट यू कैन ईट देम एट वंस और स्टोर देम इन फ्रीजर टू सेटिस्फाई योर स्वीट टूथ एट एनी टाइम सो लेट्स गो थ्रू द इनग्रीडियंट्स टू स्टार्ट मेकिंग दैम टू बनानाज टू कप डार्क चॉकलेट चिप्स हाफ कप कोकोनट थ्रेड्स क्वार्टर कप चॉकलेट स्प्रिंकल्स हाफ कप रेनबो स्प्रिंकल्स हाफ कप क्रश्ड बिस्किट्स वन टी स्पून वेजिटेबल ऑयल सो लेट्स सी हाउ टू मेक क्रश्ड बिस्किट्स फॉर दिस आई एम यूजिंग दीज बटर बिस्किट्स बट यू कैन यूज एनी अदर बिस्किट्स वी ऑल्सो नीड अ जिपलॉक बैग और एनी प्लास्टिक बैग टू क्रश द बिस्किट्स नाउ पुट ऑल बिस्किट्स इन जिपलॉक बैग देन विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ रोलिंग पिन क्रश देम लाइक दिस But don't crush them heavily because we don't want to make biscuits powder. Now they are done. This is the texture we want. Now cut banana pieces in approximately half inch size like this. Similarly cut second banana. Now take a baking sheet, cover it with aluminum foil or you can also use a butter paper. Now apply some oil on the sheet. Then place banana pieces like this. Now let's go to the next step to melt chocolate. For this I am using double boiler method. For this we need a pan and a bowl. Just make sure to use the bowl which fits perfectly on top of pan like this. I am using glass bowl but you can also use a steel bowl for quick chocolate melting. Now take some water and fill the pan till around 1 inch from bottom. Now turn on the gas and let water start bubbling. Put the heat to low and place chocolate filled bowl on top of pan. Just be careful of steam. Now let the chocolate chips melt and stir them after 1 minute to check if they have started melting. Keep stirring them continuously to melt them uniformly. Now it has melted well so switch off the heat. It took me around 8 to 10 minutes to melt them completely. Now take bowl out of pan and add some oil to chocolate to make it little thin. Mix it properly so that oil mixes well with melted chocolate. Now place all ingredients at one place and use fork to dip banana pieces in chocolate like this. Just make sure to cover it well with chocolate on both sides. Now lift banana piece and place it in the topping of your choice. Cover it well with topping by flipping carefully with a fork. Now take it out, shake it a little and place in the baking sheet. Similarly cover all banana slices in toppings of your choice. Now our banana pieces are coated so put them in freezer for at least 5 to 6 hours. After 6 hours take them out and our mouth watering banana bites are ready to taste. Chocolate banana bites are looking so yummy. Different toppings make them beautiful looking and give different taste at the same time. Kids love them so serve it to your family instantly or at any time. Try making them at home and enjoy. If you like them please leave your comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video please like it and don't forget to subscribe my channel. For latest recipes please follow Neha's cookhouse on all social media.
Have a healthy eating.